Hello, my wonderful people. This is Mukali Global TV. How are you doing? Thank you for tuning in. And for the new subscribers, welcome to Mukali Global TV family. And for the returning subscribers, I really appreciate your support. Thank you for always watching our videos, for commenting, for sharing, and for the support that you give us. We highly appreciate. So anyway, today's video is out of the ordinary. It's a different video from the usual ones that I always do. And um, okay, it's not, it's not, it's not it's not um what can i say it's not um something that is out of the normal but uh, it's this story time today mukali gives you a story and uh, it's something that i really wanted to share with you because i know uh, most people who are working outside their countries you are in a foreign country and um you're trying to save money you're trying to invest back in your home country maybe we are sailing in the same boat <laughs> maybe <laughs> so it's good when we share these stories and uh, maybe try to comfort each other and find um, maybe solutions to our problems you know so this is the thing some time back uh, in fact that was last year we had planned to travel back to Kenya for for a short time for a visit for holiday and that was September in fact we had planned to uh, to travel back to Nairobi for quite some time maybe for a month or so and then uh, start of October our plan was ready you know but now we we had some um, setbacks because of uh, the way we have been um, doing some few things here and there. Sometime back last year, no, 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 in 2020, in 2020, a very close family member, a very close family member, <laughs> when I say close, a very close family member introduced me to um, a certain... Um, investment plan you know it was it was supposed to be a family thing a saving plan and uh, after some chit chat some discussions here and there with the family members and all that we agreed all right it's it's not a bad investment plan why not and uh, in fact you are supposed to get some some um, what is it called some uh, when you save some money with them you are supposed to get some interest yes for your money for the amount of money you save every month you get some interest and then i was like oh that's nice that's a good idea uh, so we had to slash um, an amount of the money that we save in the bank and an amount of money that we save in the circle we said oh why not put more of it in the, the family circle yes so that we get the, the shares so the journey started 2020 up to now it's 2022 so that's around three years you see but now if you have to access the money you are supposed to give a two months notice so that your money can be prepared and uh, the amount that you have requested for is given to you so when we thought of uh, traveling to Nairobi, we were like, because by the time we go and access the money in the circle or wherever, it will take some time. So we requested for this one in the family. So I gave the two months notice and the money was supposed to come by um, December 2021. Hmm. But now the struggle began there. We started push and pull. The money is not coming our way. And... Um, excuses here and there and uh, it has been crazy but anyway in january we decided okay because the two months is over probably the money is coming so we went booked our tickets in the ethiopian airlines paid and also went for the um, covid19 test 
by the way check out the video for our COVID-19 test we went to Hargeisa group of hospital for the test yeah my son and I went there and we did the test then waited for a few no only one day by the way it was supposed to be given the results were supposed to be given to us that evening but they told us no come tomorrow pick the results very early in the morning so we went took our results and then we were ready to travel the following day because remember we had already booked our tickets but now a day before traveling no money has been wired into my account it was unfortunate you can imagine right now at uh, that time you have already bought the suitcases you have done all the necessary preparations even in Nairobi we had planned for our accommodation we had paid for the cleaning uh, there is a certain uh, lady who did uh, the cleaning of our house. We paid her. We had done other plans of the investment opportunities that we had uh, aspired to, some properties to get. We had already contacted all those people. And again, the most crucial thing that was taking us to Nairobi was that uh, we had an appointment um, with um, a certain uh, embassy that... Uh, one of us was supposed to go and do an interview but now that failed failed terribly why because somebody somewhere decided to let us down by failing to honor our agreement of the financial um in the financial sector you know but now on following up it's now several months down the line since october last year how many months are those october november december january february march six months six months hmm? it's so painful you know when you trust somebody so much especially a family member a very close person to you and then they let you down to that extent so many things have been messed up on the way but now what do you do you see so um that's why i never posted that video of uh, the covid 19 test that we did because i was waiting until we travel to nairobi then i combine all that and then make it to one video but now it has taken too long so i decided to do this so that i get this out of my heart you know i want to be free i want to let it out of my heart i want to forget about this to close that chapter maybe also forget about the money it's painful but now what do i do what do i do six months following up on your money family and uh, <sighs> nothing is forthcoming so now these people who are out of their countries and you save your money with maybe your family or you send uh, people back at home to invest for you or buy for you property how does it go have you ever been duped have you ever been let down maybe you can tell me in the comment section how does it feel you know it's my first time experiencing that um, I don't trust people that easily but this time round as I said, because it's a family member, maybe that's why I let my guard down. But it's a lesson that painfully, ah, painfully, I have to take it, you see. So anyway, um, now we decided, why not use always our usual way of saving? Because we have been doing it through the circle. We have been doing it in the bank. So we, we just do that instead of this other investments with people who you cannot uh, easily tell when they will decide to change you know so um i would advise maybe if you're working out of your home country don't trust anybody that easily do your homework do a thorough um background check up of maybe the circles that you would want to get into because there are others also that are not that straightforward you know but uh, you can also do your investment in circles that are genuine you save your money with the circle because some of them also 
will um, guide you on where to buy properties they will give you the best deals and such things secondly you can also do it with the banks you know like here in Argeisa especially the Kenyans who are living here in Argeisa we have um, banks like uh, Dahab Shield we have banks like uh, Premier Bank and we have um, this other one is what Amal Bank and I think Amal is also nice because they have them the money transfer system that you can do it over your phone you can always check your transactions over the phone the same with the shield i'm not really sure about uh, premier bank uh if, if if they have that online whatever but for dab shield for amal you can always transact your money there save your money there always go and check your your bank balance you know it's better when you can see i've saved with them and my money is intact than saving with people and they tell you oh now right now the money is this amount we are doing this we are purchasing this for you and all that you will not be sure until the day you will be shocked like I did so I decided to do the video so that at least I can bring closure to the issue yeah I want to be at peace and then um, at least I've learned my lesson. So, which other ways do people in the diaspora save money? Do you do it with the circles? Do you do it with the banks? Okay, those are the two that I know. Or you wait until you travel to your home country, then maybe go and buy properties. But you cannot keep the money in cash, of course. So tell me there, down there in the comment section, which other ways can we, people who are out of our home countries be safe when we are saving our hard earned money you know when when people are out there working the people in their home country imagine that probably you're just getting this money in an easy way out but it's not like that honestly you deny yourself very many things at least to save for a better future to save and invest for your kids to save and invest for your retirement you know such things so anybody out there imagining that um, because somebody went abroad or works in this country they are just getting money that easily you're mistaken we are hustling out here and uh, it's not fair it's not fair when such things happen but what do you do what do you do you hope for the best but prepare for the worst <laughs> but whichever way things turn out it's always good to be positive like for me i've chosen to be a uh, pessy no optimistic <laughs> optimistic yeah. so inshallah things will turn out well and anyway if uh, the person decides to finally give me my money alhamdulillah i'll appreciate and then maybe i will do my projects once again but meanwhile so much has been lost we even lost quite a good number of money when uh, we went to cancel that flight in uh, the ethiopian airlines it's it's unfortunate you know you are trying to save you are trying to cut costs in many things and at the end of the day you're just losing money in unnecessary things anyway tell me tell me about your views about saving if you are in a foreign country in the comment section i'll be waiting to read your comments and maybe they will comfort me you know so that is it for today this is mikali global tv if you're watching and you have not subscribed please subscribe to our youtube channel help us to grow we are on our way to 2000 subscribers we really appreciate and keep watching our content bye bye Oh my god, can you even realize me? Huh? I'm looking different in a mask. This is Mukali Global.
TV. <laughs> oh my God, today has been a, a long day for me and uh, my little boy because we have been having our COVID test done today and it was crazy, you know? It was crazy because we arrived here like three hours ago and then um, we were supposed to to pay yes so we queued at the line waiting day our turn came then we paid for the services and then the sad message failed to come you know because mostly here we do the the mobile banking mostly you don't find people with cash like so we pay for it and the message doesn't come and i'm there stranded oh my god everybody is just looking at me and wondering why the the delay you know so it was unfortunate we stayed there for over 30 minutes waiting for the message and when it failed to come now we had to take another action so we decided to go to to the service provider that is uh, the telesome where they checked our data and uh, confirmed that indeed we had done the payment for the for the for the covid test and that's 90 dollar you can imagine so at last we were given the receipt from the the the, the telesome offices in town huh? and then we had to come back we had to come back to the hospital to confirm that uh, the payment has been received by the hospital uh, finance department by showing our receipt so after that at least we were re relieved because you know we were getting worried it's almost 12 we have not been served and by the time 12 reaches everything is going to close down because it will be time for prayer so right now we are from the testing it's it's irritating to say the least <laughs> they have to poke your nose and uh, get get the uh, the whatever from inside here so at least we are done we will be waiting for our results in uh, a day or so we will get them because they have told us tomorrow tomorrow in the morning at seven we can come and uh, collect the results that will be just be like a day before we travel yeah so that is our experience today but we met a very nice lady she was really nice to us oh my god she has told me her name is um i think I can't remember the name exactly but she was really nice to us can you imagine she took her time off from the testing took us to town with her car to uh, to the ZAD offices to tell us some explained to those guys what what the problem was and then they they sorted us they gave us the receipt she came with the receipt personally and we had to walk back because now after the after going to town there is no way we could uh, come back with the car because we would be against the traffic so we walked back with her imagine she's a bit aged so when she came she talked to the people at the finance office and they accepted our receipt then all I could do was to thank her oh my god I just wish her the best she's also traveling like me that's why she had also come for the for the COVID test so she has told me she's going to Dubai in uh, a few days I think tomorrow yeah she said she's going tomorrow right yeah yeah she's good. She's going to Dubai tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm. Very nice woman she is. Yeah, she's she's a very nice woman. Wallahi, wherever she is, God will bless her for us. So now we are done. Our nose feel 
irritated but there is no problem so now we are going for other preparations before we come for the for the results tomorrow and then we travel the next day trust, so, trust me guys uh -huh. that covid test is not good for me like, dude, How was like it? Hike mm -hmm. into your nose. But but it doesn't even take one minute. It doesn't even take one minute. Like flip. Uh -huh. oh they just God. slide in, tap, and by the time you realize it's out, <laughs> it's already out. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. But anyway, oh my God, it's it's also important for you to always know your status. And before you travel, these are some of the things that uh, they will expect you to do. So that has been our experience today in the hospital. But we thank God at last we have had the test done and now we are waiting for our results. Tomorrow, inshallah, we come and pick. Then uh, we travel to Kenya. We can't wait to be in Nairobi. So guys, ah, that is it for now. See you later in my next video. Bye bye. <laughs>